Good morning, folks. Quick update to yesterday's M flare from the Southwest Departing Sunspot Group. The CME is indeed going to miss Earth, going mostly right and ahead of Earth's orbital position. Since this eruption, we've seen further weakening of the solar flaring, just a couple in C range. The big sunspots are departing and the incomers are faltering. That trough in sunspot numbers is nigh. The most interesting space weather feature is actually resulting from slow moving bunches of ejecta left over from last week's eruptions. Around 2100 UTC last night, we took ultra dense waves in the solar wind. Not a CME impact, but what's bunched up in the slower wake. And these ramp the low energy proton bombardment at exactly the same time. These are nothing to fear as it's the low energy only, but it's an interesting solar wind feature nonetheless. To confirm it was not a new CME, we have weak geomagnetic indications. We're all calm here at Earth. ISWA showing the coronal hole to maintain some solid power to its stream. The opening is directly earth facing today and will remain geo effective for a few more. We took what might be the biggest tremor yet of the Iceland uptick. USGS downgrade won't say so but the readings hit magnitude 6 with multiple listings above the official magnitude. Also got a near 5 pointer in the Gulf of California which is above average there. We're also taking some moderate upticks in and around Greece. How about an ice update? The Arctic's current ice extent in blue is below the satellite average but still showing major recovery from the record lows two years ago. Meanwhile, folks, mark it down. It looks like the latest ramp up in Antarctic sea ice has us at a record high not only for this time of year but for the entire satellite age. A new high mark for ice in the southern hemisphere confirmed by NASA, NOAA and the NSIDC. Philippines are recovering today while this typhoon heads for China and Vietnam now. Down under, we've got two lows to the south and on the eastern side. It's easy to see why the rain and thunderstorm warnings for this evening sit squarely down in that corner. Eduardo in the Atlantic is heading due north. Meanwhile, Odile is still a powerful storm atop Baja in the eastern Pacific, sending moisture northward. The premise of last night's flood warning video for the U.S. Southwest when it gets even further up the coastline tonight. Convergence in the east will still make life difficult in Georgia and its neighbor states. Europe, the two areas of storm warning from the past few days are converging and will now have alerts popping up across the southern portions of the continent. A rather calm 24 hours. We don't expect much from our star, but the earthquake index should peak tonight or tomorrow in a range. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.15 a.m. in Oregon. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.